Hello everyone. I just want to make a simple video showing how to browse for specific file types in large folders. For example, this folder contains 700 gigabytes of pictures and videos. What I wanted to do is just browse only the videos in a comfortable setting, kind of where you're just looking at thumbnails such as this, and just browsing through, seeing my videos, and without any hassle. At first I wasn't sure exactly how to do this, and I found through this program, Irfan View, how to do this exactly. Now, so I just want to say there are, this is 700 gigabytes of folders, there can be subfolders, anything. So first what I wanted to do is, like I said, is look through the videos, but this can be adjusted to any file type you want. What you want to do is open Irfan View. First you go to Options, and you go to Properties and Settings, then you go to Extensions. Here you want to check Load Custom File Types. Now this is a long string of file types that Irfan View will load. What I did was remove pictures and images, PNGs and things like that from this list. I'll have a copy below the video of my list here, but basically if the file type that you're looking for does not show up or it does show up, you can simply remove it or add it to this list. So at this point, what I did was remove anything that is image related from my search. So now you go to Irfan View Thumbnails. What you wanna do is go to Options and Set Thumbnail Options. Here what I did is I increased the thumbnail size to 150 by 150. This is because I'm browsing through a whole bunch of videos and I just wanted a comfortable view of what's going on in my 700 gigabytes of files. Here on the right, this uh, this is the codes for what the images uh, image information will show. So for example, if you hover over a file, it'll display some information about it. You can edit that to display whatever information you want. Now, what you do want to do is, for example, as you can see my Sony imports folder, this is the folder that is 700 gigabytes. What you want to do is click load thumbnails from all subfolders. At this point, InfraView will start going through and essentially looking for all the image or images, files, whatever file you wanted in your selection through these folders. Once it's done, it'll take a little while to get through all the thumbnails and things. It depends obviously on the size of the videos and what you're looking for. Um, also what I recommend is auto scrolling thumbnails during creation. This will just kind of move this list down as it the thumbnails load. And at this point, you're pretty much all set. I just wanted to offer one more tip, but um, as you can see, so I kind of stopped the search right away. So actually when you click load thumbnails from all subfolders, it'll start doing the search. Takes a second. There it goes. And you can click stop here. I'm just gonna click stop. Now, obviously to play a video, I just say, I'm gonna click on this. The video will start. And in your example, this may actually be a full screen setup. So what you want to do is you want to adjust this, make it the size that you want for the video. Once you're done, you go back to options and select save current window layout. At this point, any video you click on will automatically open in the selected size that you want. And you'll be able to comfortably browse your giant, giant folders. You may not even know what's in this. This is, like I said, this is a 700 gig folder. There is so much stuff here. I, I didn't want to look through it. I just wanted to see my videos and that's it. And um, one other thing I just want to notice, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, but if you drag one of these videos into here, into the screen that is playing the video, this will kind of reset and it will only show one specific folder opposed to the entire massive list of subfolders. So if you want to play a video, just double click, don't drag. This will kind of screw the, the system up. So this is it. Like I said, you can adjust the file type to anything you like. But if you just have a whole lot of files and you really don't want to go folder through folder, you, you just want to see what's in there, browse it comfortably just as if you would in a normal image viewer, see your videos, do whatever you need. This is the system I found. It, it seems to work great. It takes obviously a little bit to scroll through 700, you know, there's 711 videos here where I, when I actually search all of them. Um, so yeah, hope this helped help someone, but it really just makes looking through massive piles of data much more easily.